Hello, this is Stampy, and welcome back to my Let's Play on King's Quest. This is episode 43, I believe, of the series as a whole, but we're basically uh, going through chapter 5, which is the, the final chapter in King's Quest, and I have been struggling. Well, I haven't been struggling. I have been working towards trying to get four keys to, to put inside of this padlock uh, so I can go and try and meet Manny. And I don't have them all. I found all four of the, the keys, so that's the uh, the first big puzzle solved. And now we should be able to make our way through. Which proved my mind was still quick. I pocketed the chromium. It was too rare to leave sitting on the ground. Okay, so it looks like I'm going to be needing a padlock later on. They wouldn't let me keep it if I didn't need it, but, um, oh, no, wrong way. <laughs> right then, let's, uh, let's go and try and work out where Manny is. So, that was, I guess, the test of wits. Am I going to need another test of, uh, of speed and, uh, strength as well? So, if you remember, that's what we did at the first chapter when I was against Manny, and I won. I was able to, to beat him in all of the, the trials, so it looks like, uh, it looks like Manny never quite got over that. And so now he's kind of trying to, to have a rematch, and I know where this well is. This leads straight to where he lives. This is where the dragon was and all of the goblins and, of course, Manny as well. And it looks like uh, we have no fear. We're going straight down uh, to, to face our old foe. And I mean that in multiple ways. He's literally old and also, you know, he's been my foe for a long time. And I don't know what he's going to look like now. Manny has looked very different at several points over the, uh, the course of the game. Last time I saw him, he was a cat. I don't think he is still going to be a cat now. But I don't know what he is going to be like. Ten years. All right, then let's uh, let's go see if we can uh, track down where he is. I remember uh, coming down this cave a very long time ago. So hard on the knees. And I remember these uh, beautiful um, waterfalls in the the background there. So if you remember, this is where I came down. I think I was trying to get a mirror at the, in the very first chapter, and I came down here, and there's a dragon, and I had a choice whether I wanted to kill the dragon or not. And I decided not to, so that is a little bit of a worry in case that uh, that's going to kind of come back to, to, to play. Uh, but right then, let's, uh, ow. <laughs> I can't go out like that. <laughs> yeah, obviously not supposed to do that. Is this one going to be okay? I have a feeling that this might not end very well. Are we okay? I didn't feel that one, and I'm not sure that's a good thing. <laughs> okay, so, oh, I think the giveaway might be the fact that there's a skeleton down there, and there's a giant bed sitting on top of it. That might have been the, the giveaway in terms of which one I was supposed to, to pull then. All right, then, let's uh, keep making our way deeper through this cave. And oh, no. Your eyes be important. He should be here any second. You know how I feel about that name. Fine, Mordak. Open your eyes. Look alive. Don't screw this up. Screw this up? Might I remind you, it's my magic keeping you alive. Yes, and when your magic concocts a working batch of Cosmolotion, I'll praise you. But my patience has grown thin, and I will not tolerate any more mistakes. Brother, I warned you to stay away from those potions. You wouldn't hear it. I've wasted 30 years of my life trying to duplicate Hagatha's formula, and I'm afraid at this point I'm ready to move forward or move on. Is your mind slipping in your golden years? Have you forgotten everything I've sacrificed for you? I took you in from the cold. I saved you from a life of goblin slavery. And you have the gall to complain about 30 measly years? Well, sometimes it still feels like I'm a slave to a goblin. Hold your tongue, Morden. Or I will. I still don't know what Manny is. Is he invisible? Is he just a voice? We still haven't seen him. But it looks like he's only been kept alive by Mordak's magic. And oh, they're right there. Okay, right. They're obviously... They obviously have something planned for me. And I'm assuming it's not a surprise birthday. So let's have a little look around first because we might need to, to plan our escape now because I don't know what's going to be... I don't know what's going to be coming up for us, but looks like we don't have any time to wait. Mordak, didn't I extinguish your flame years ago? I was hiding under the floorboards. I knew it. How's the family? 
Getting along surprisingly well since you shrunk them. So glad to hear that. Uh-huh. You mind moving out of the way? I have some business to attend to with your boss. Mananin has strictly forbidden me to let you pass, unless you can convince me that your mind is still strong and quick. And how might I go about that? Follow those clearly labeled signposts. Of course. Bring me back proof that you have completed each trial, and then I will escort you to Mananin. I know you won't answer honestly, but I'll ask anyway. Is all this some form of an elaborate trap designed to crush my bones, yank my arms out, or contort my body into a twisted sculpture of death? No. <sighs> Sounds like some good clean fun. Well, I knew things weren't going to work well. Okay, so they've lowered that bridge. So it said, follow the signs. I can follow the signs. Okay, so it just says go this way. I just wanted to make sure I couldn't, like, spin them around, that they are all pointing the right way. So I don't know if the challenge is following the, the signs or the signs are just going to lead me to the, the trials, but it looks like I need to prove that I've still got my smarty pants on. So hopefully I have my smarty pants on, I guess. <laughs> well, so far so good with uh, these puzzles. I actually... It's been a very long time since I've been properly stuck on this game. There's a few times where progress has been slowed because I've had to have a little think. And oh, what's going on? Broke or snap back into place. To be fair, he is pretty limp, but you know, he is 77 and he's still doing that, which is pretty impressive. But yeah, so I don't know, um... What was I talking about? I can't remember what I was talking about. Yeah, puzzles. I'm doing alright. Overall, it's been a long time since I've been stuck. I've been slowed down at points. But it's been a very long time since progress has been halted by me having no idea what I need to do. And aha! This looks like this is where the, the signs were leading me to, but what's the trial? Do I need to just take one of these crystals back? Oh no, I'm not feeling very well. I'm not feeling well at all. Was that just because I was tired? Uh, I, 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 I just I haven't thought about these stories in a, in a long time. Your ears are all red. Just uh, give me a moment. This part gets a little wacky. I think I should uh, rest a bit first. You mind getting Grandma in here? I'll be back after your nap. I think he just wasn't feeling very well in real life, so that just reflected in the story. He can have a nap though, he'll be okay. The story hasn't been finished being told. To rest, dear. I'll be back after dinner. I'll be fine. Take your time. Just ring the bell if you need me. Good night, my love. <laughs> What's he up to? What's he doing? Oh, he's getting out of bed. Look at him sitting up. I haven't seen him sitting up in a while. He's not looking well though, is he? Oh no, don't put the hat on. Is he going for his last adventure? I think this is it then. Graham's final adventure. The adventure of wearing the hat. <laughs> this is his venturing cap, isn't it? Promise. Always seek adventure. Looks like this might be his most difficult adventure yet. What's he planning though? I don't know if he knows what he wants to do or he's just expecting an adventure to happen. Aha! <laughs> <laughs> oh no. The mirror said he had another adventure yet. That mirror has always been right. He can't reach the bell though. Oh. 
Oh yeah, his his friend. Oh, I wondered where he went off to. No, it's not time yet. I was promised another. I'll fight it, I assure you. But... I mean, the chair is rocking. I'm afraid you're right. Who's there? You've always been a straight shooter. It's true. The mirror never promised I would live another adventure. Only that my adventure would live on. Just let me say goodbye. Who's there? It's not going to be Manny, is it? It could be Manny, of course not. Wouldn't make any sense. Well, there's a, there's a blast from the past. Do you smell that germite, Graham? It's a toxic fume, I'm afraid. One that is said to challenge the strength of the mind. Oh, so the reason he passed out in this story is because the fumes. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Speaking of blast from the past, this is what the uh, the King's Quest games used to look like. Your memory is fading. To prove that your mind is still doing strong, you must survive your own thoughts. Oh, this is cool. So is this going to be like a text adventure then? Oh, no. Okay. It is a, it is a proper walk around uh, yeah, King's Quest adventure. So you might recognize this Graham uh, as looking very similar to the uh, the painting in Minecraft because that is actually of Graham, a younger Graham, but Graham nonetheless. And this is cool because I never played the old King's Quest game, so I guess this is the uh, the closest thing to that. Uh, Queen uh, uh, V uh, pleads with you to stay strong. Dear, you're pushing yourself too hard. Please don't engage with Mananan. Uh, stay here and be with your family. I could never leave the kingdom in this wretched state for our children. And then, uh, who's this? Is this, uh, oh, this is Alexander. Uh, Rosella and I can work to restore the kingdom. Please let us help. You don't need to face Mananan on your own. I'm afraid, uh, I'm afraid I have to some. Yes, we do. You didn't actually, uh, see them at all, really, in this episode. Uh, Dad, you've given us everything we need. All we need now is you. There are plenty of treasures I wish to leave for you. Okay. It's weird because I really recognize this place. I wonder if this is actually exactly as it looked in the King's Quest game. Obviously, it's a much better resolution, but I wonder, like, whether the, the layout is exactly the same. i got to assume it is. Uh, I found a golden locket. Yay! <laughs> this is cool! <laughs> and then let's go. Oh, we can look at this statue again, because I remember I looked at this at the, the very beginning of the game as well. Uh, behind uh, Achaka's bust, you see a random string of pearls. So that's the, um, that's the person who, um, uh, that's the person who was, uh, on the, the rocking chair, I do believe. And if you remember, they died in chapter one of the, um, uh, of King's Quest. And there's the, there's the castle. You gotta love this music, don't you? Oh, what's it? Oh, do I need to, do I need to, like, jump across? What's this thing? I don't know what that thing is. Right, let's, uh... Let's follow this thing then. Score four of eight, apparently. Sadly, no bridge trolls in this version. Oh no! The bridge bro! <laughs> and down I go. This is like, oh no, no! That thing! Uh, we at Sierra, which is the, the company that actually made these games, I wish to thank you for playing King's Quest. We are very sorry that you did not succeed and hope you fare better next time. Good luck. Oh, moving on. So this is, um... Uh, kind of like the, uh, the, the 90s King's Quest games, this, uh, looks like, or very late 80s, it's gotta be 90s, and, uh, alright then, looks like we're, we're going through, we're going through time, then. <laughs> I think that's, a uh, Whisper and Acorn, isn't it? Having themselves a little bit of a boogie. I'm not entirely sure why, but why not? All uh, right then, let's go and uh, try and head up here. This reminds me of the, the elephant graveyard from Lion King a little bit. And oh, I think this is uh, the hobble pots, isn't it? I really want to know whether like... I, I really want to play the old games now just to see how familiar this all is. Graham? Is that you? He looks so old and 
pickled. Not the good kind. Chester? Muriel? Wait. If you're here, does that mean that I am... Oh, calm down, honey. It's hardly your time yet. We're just here to help you navigate your own imagination. Ah, I'm here for the snacks. You, sir, have some delicious memories. Chester Hobblepot, we're here to feed Graham's mind, not your belly. Oh, Muriel, can't we do both? Every other thought in here is a popcorn-flavored jelly bean. I wouldn't mind some friendly advice. Perhaps on outsmarting Manny. Or how I can make sure the legacy of King Graham the Wise will not be left behind. Uh-huh. Haven't we taught you anything? Legacies are not about what you leave behind for people. They are about what you leave inside of people. Uh-huh. Your kingdom is best left for the young, dearie. That's it? You don't have any quips or an item to give me that will eventually solve all my troubles? We've given all we have to give. You're going to have to figure out the rest of it alone. Okay, so I think they're basically saying it's not about what you leave behind for people. It's kind of the way you shape people. So I think they're basically saying the way you've been bringing up Gar and Gwendolyn, that's your legacy. You know, a little bit of you is going to live in inside of them. That's kind of what they seem to be saying. Anyway, let's let's snap out Wake of this trance, shall we? Your mind is strong. <sighs> there we go. Our mind is strong. We were able to, to battle the, the fumes and back to business. So I guess we need to, to bring back probably the big shiny crystal in the middle, if I'd guess, to prove that we were able to, to make it past this troll. They did make it sound like there's going to be more than one troll, though. Oh, and I wanted the giant shiny crystal in the middle. Oh, well. <laughs> I guess that one might be a little bit more manageable to, to carry. But there we go. We sold it. That was so cool. Like, obviously, I don't know how many people watching this played the old King's Quest games. That probably means a lot more to, to them, uh, you know, because it's kind of a lot of nostalgia. Uh, I was much more of a um, a LucasArts person. So if anyone knows, like, the Monkey Island games, like, I love Full Throttle, Day of the Tentacle, those kind of games. Like, I played them a lot more. But, uh, yeah, after playing this, I am very curious to, to go back and to have a go at some of the uh, the older King's Quest games. I know they are ridiculously difficult though, so that's one of the things that scares me because I'll be doing okay at this game, but I think the logic uh, the logic in these puzzles probably makes a bit more sense than in some of the older games, but uh, that's kind of because you used to like buy a game and play it for like a year and then, you know, these games you kind of go through a lot quicker, I guess. But anyway, back to the story. I <laughs> I digress. Right then, I have I have a crystal for you. My proof my shiny proof. Great. Set that over there, and let me know when you've completed the Trial of Speed. Ah. Okay, well, the Trial of Wits is quite manageable. I can use my brain. The Trial of Speed? Um, how will I solve the Trial? I'm not particularly quick. Well, where, where is the Trial of Speed? Then it says to follow the signs. Do I go, do you reckon if I go back down there, like the trial would have changed or something? Maybe, maybe, oh, do I go, oh, do I, wait a minute, wait, wait a minute, go back, go back, no, Graham, this way, this way, please, come on, this way, that's it. Do I go, do I go in here, is this a thing? Are any of these things that I can interact with? Can I go that way? No. I was only thought that that might have been, like, a tunnel leading to the right then, but no, it wasn't. Um, but it said to sign, uh, follow the signpost, so, right then, let's, let's go back down here and see if, uh, if anything's changed, and if we can, we can work out where the, the, the trial of speed uh, is actually going to be, because... I don't think I'm going to be able to win physically <laughs> fast, because... Well, I'm 77, you know, give, give the guy a break, you know, he's, he's lived a long life. <laughs> so is there, is there anywhere else I can, I can go to from here? I can't go anywhere down that way. Oh, is this, oh no, no, don't climb that, I don't know, I didn't, well, I don't think I need to go that way anyway, to be fair. So, where, where is the, where is the trial of speed then? That took me to that trial, so it looks like I need to do a, a trial of speed and a, a, a trial of strength as well, but... I just don't know where they are. Let's uh, let's go and uh, speak back to to, to Mordak and to uh, see if he has a uh, yeah any more help in terms of where the uh, the other trials are because 
The signpost definitely just does say to, to go that way. But if you see on the signpost, it just shows those weird crystal things. So, I don't know. Let's go and speak to him and let's just see if he has anything else to say to me. If not, I guess we can just wander around the cave until we stumble into it. I still need proof that you completed the trial of speed. Okay, well, where is the trial of speed? Shall I just keep going straight down this way? I mean, this is just where I came from, though, isn't it? And I... I didn't see any trials of speed on my on my way. Maybe, maybe I was just missing something else inside of that that crystal cave. And it actually, it looks like I can't even go back there anyway. I kind of just go off the screen and then that's it. So it looks like I do definitely go back. Uh, need to go back down to the the crystally room. But I'm just not sure where the trial of um of speed actually is. Let's just kind of wander around like the edges of that entire room and uh, let's just see whether it does lead to, to, to somewhere else and uh, we can work out where the, the, the trial of speed actually is. Sorry, Graham. You're going to have to edge your way around this wall yet again. <laughs> How many times have I made him do that now? Uh, yeah, it looks like this is the only way to go though. So through the, uh, the process of elimination, uh, that does look like this is where we're supposed to head to next, but I didn't see... I don't know, I didn't see it anywhere kind of obviously leading to somewhere new. Um, but yeah, let's uh, let's wander around because I didn't really look around properly then. So uh, can I go this way? Hmm, let me go a little bit this way, but it seems to be a bit of a, did, uh, a dead end there. Uh, and can I go anywhere further down? Hmm, I don't actually know where the, the trial of speed is. Uh, but no worries. Uh, what I'm going to do then, seeing as uh, this episode's uh, pretty much run out of time anyway, uh, I'm going to end the episode here. I'm going to have a little bit of a wander around between episodes just to, to kind of work out where the next trial is. And then, yeah, uh, I'll carry on recording again. And, uh, yeah, we'll see whether we can solve it. And finger crossed, uh, we will be able to. But uh, that is the end of this episode here. As always, there's going to be a link down in the description to the next episode. Of course, once it's online. But for now, thanks for watching, and I'll see you all later. Bye!